which animal isn't allowed on the zoo's quiz team? The cheetah. <laughs> Welcome to Gartner Bam Bam vs Rainbow Friends The Jump Challenge. If you enjoy this video and you want to see more like it, smack that like button and subscribe if you're new. <laughs> it's free. And I'm yellow. So here's how today's challenge is going to work. We have a row of Bam Bam creatures in alphabetical order. I've got Rainbow Friends Lucky Block. Each creature will face someone random. If they jump further, they get a point for their team. Whoever has the most points wins. And we begin with Baby Appealer Bird. Who will the bird face? Ah, it's an old flipster. And so we begin begin by becoming the bird and throwing it off the ramp. How far will it go? It actually goes pretty far. It's gone high. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Is it going in the river? Oh, it's so close. And now we see if Little Flipster can beat the bird. Here he goes. Look at him rolling. Look at that form. Oh, it seems better. I think that is a point for the rainbow friend. And Bambolina will be facing Pink. This time we'll let Pink go first. If I remember correctly, Pink is very slow. Ah, the jump. Is it going to make it? I said do look the same as the bird. Oh, I didn't make it. Oh, no. Now, Bambolina, you got what it takes. Here she goes. The leap, it's good. It's plenty. It's 1-1. One, one. Now for Ban Ban. Who's he getting? He's facing the lime. Is he any relation to the broccoli? Ban Ban, you can go first, lad. Does Ban Ban go further than Bambolina? Let's find out. It would appear so by quite a lot, actually. And so now the hairdryer's turn. I, if I remember correctly, this young man has a hell of a jump. Oh, it's good. Is it enough? It certainly is. Oh, hello, little flipster. That's 2-1 to the rainbows. Now this tall, handsome chap. And his opponent is Honey. Listen to this beast roar. Here he goes. Oh, oh, look at that form. Damn, some good jumping. And it's the furthest so far. But don't be fooled. Honey may look like a tennis ball on a neck. But oh, look out. Look at that form. That is, it may even be better than the broccoli. It's going to be close. But it's not enough. It's 2-2. Two -two. Captain Fiddles. And his opponent, Dark Orange. We will send the orange fella for hey, they're the same height. Pretty well matched. Here it goes. Swimming its way. It's cutting through the air. It's doing a, actually doing a really good job. It bounced off of lime, so we have to send it back. And that's where it landed. Captain Fiddles, if I remember correctly, you stink. <laughs> Listen to his feet slapping the ground. <laughs> oh, here he goes. It's not bad, but it's certainly not enough. Oh, he's even bad. Oh, God. Captain Fiddles. He wanted to be the captain of the boat. I can't blame him. It's 3-2 to the rainbows. Up next is Chef Pigster, and their opponent is yellow. Look at the little belly on him. We'll send the pig first. Oh, <laughs> dog in a belly. Look at the booty on this one. Here we go. Good bit of spring. It has hit the ceiling, though. Oh, it's coming down. Oh, it nearly squished the bird. Talking of birds, smack that like button if you've missed the rainbow, friends. I sure have. Here he goes. Uh-oh. Oh, this is going to be close. I think the pig's got this. Oh, terrible yellow. It's 3-3. Three, three. Up next is Coach Pickles. And Coach Pickles is facing green. All right, Pickles, you can go first, lad. And the leap is good. It's very good. Look at those toes. Look at the trunk. How is this elephant jumping so far? Just behind the broccoli. Talking of broccoli, you can't look like a broccoli. More of a cactus. Show us how it's done, lad. Good cartoon cat form, but it is not enough. You bounced off the band band. Get back there. Even though it doesn't matter because you lose. 4 3 to the Ban Ban. The female coach pickle will face this dancing fella. <laughs> um, they kind of look related. We'll send him first. He does set the earth on fire. And the jump is sensational. It might be the best so far. Yep, could be unbeatable. You dance, little fella. Now we send her over. Will she do better than the blue one? Let's find out. She has hit the ceiling. That's going to slow her down. Ah, she's bounced off of honey. Get back there. Which means it's 4-4. Four, four. It's so close. Up next is Crabzilla. And he's facing Peach. Well, at least they're a similar size. Here goes the crab. He's kind of slow. You would be too if you had to walk on your claws. You guys have claws, right? There he goes. What's that thing under his butt? Is that his butt or his mouth? Oh, he's in the river. It kind of makes sense. Peach, all you got to do is just don't fall. And Peach, I, I, I jumped early and Peach is still absolutely yeeted. What is going on? Peach is OP. That's by four to the rainbows. Up next is Cyan Fiddles. He's massive. Oh, and he's facing Big Red. He makes Big Red look tiny. Fiddles, you can go first. Big beefy. He's causing an earthquake. Ah, the, the jump is... <laughs> ah, what is that for? It's not great. He's bounced off a of green. Get back there. Come on, Big Red. Oh, he also causes earthquakes. Oh, and the jump is too good. Look at him. Is he going the whole way? Yeah, that's a point for the rainbows. 6-4. Up next is the Cyclopus. Look at that tongue. And he's facing purple. Why is one arm so much bigger than the other? Put your theories in the comments and watch him leap. 
Can he claw a point back for his team? Ah, it's not looking great. Purple, it's very beatable. Scuttle on down there, you cube. Ah, I think there's another point for the rainbows. He bounced off a of broccoli. Get back. There we go. 7-4. I'm next is Dr. Fluffy Pants. I'll never get used to saying that. What? Why is he a doctor? He's facing blue. Oh, it's destiny. We'll send blue first. Here he goes. Running like he's never had a hug before. Oh, flapping like a bird. Oh, it's good. It's not bad, but it is beatable. Come on, doctor. You've got this. He's kind of slow. But how is it? How is the jump? This is going to be so close. He bounced off a of blue. It's a tie. That's a point each. I can't believe it. That makes it eight five to the rainbows. I'm next is the fairy room. And it'll be facing female pink. Hey, they both got crowns. What is this destiny? All right, kangaroo, you can go first. Listen to those hops. Sounds like it's wearing shoes. Excellent form, smacking itself in the head with its wand. And all right, middle of the pack. Female pink, if I remember correctly, this wibbly wobbly is very, very good. Too good. Uh, back of the map, good. Oh, head massage for Big Red. That's 9-5 to the rainbows. Up next is the pile of six. I, I mean Gab Lab. And Gab Lab will be facing Indigo. Indigo first. You go, go get him. <laughs> this dude's got legs. The other one doesn't. Will that help? Let's find out. Excellent form. Swimming through the air. Ah, it's pretty oh, no, great. Come on. Do it for the yellows. Oh, gross. I didn't want to be inside you. Oh, listen to it. it sounds like a Minecraft slime. What does it mean? Is it is it enough? I think it is. It definitely is. Bounced off of uh, maybe honey, but it definitely beat Indigo. So that's nine to six. Up next is Melman, the giraffe. And Melman's facing white two. Or one? I think it's white one. But Melman, you're going first. Galloping. It looks like a dude in a costume. Oh my goodness, Melman. Melman's OP. That's going to take some beating. Can you do it? Uh, not a lot of speed here. <laughs> a lot of booty, though. How's the jump? Yeah, he's clawing on. Oh, he did. He beat the pig. But it wasn't enough. It's nine to seven. The rainbows are still in the lead. Time for round two. Here's our next selection of creatures. And we start with Hair Tens. And they'll be facing Cyan. We've cleared the battlefield and we go again. Hair Tens with a nice roll. That's going to be hard to beat. Can the little fella do it? Probably not. But he looks great trying. <laughs> or does he? He looks like he's in pain. It's not enough. It's nine to eight. The Bam Bams are catching up. Up next is Hunter Tim. Tim's facing yellow. He's back for a second round. Tim, how's your jump? I truly don't remember. He's hit the ceiling, but it looks good. Not as good as the hairball. Yellow? Did you go in the river last time, little duck? You might have. Oh, no. Going in. Oh, close. That means it's 9-9. Nine, nine. We're all tied up. Up next is Jimmy. And Jimmy's facing maroon. Oh, poor Jimmy. Jimmy, you can go first. Look at that form. Look at him. Oh, that's a sexy worm. Oh, look at Oh, God. Jimmy. Ah, uh, Jimmy. Uh, you don't want to stand too close to a chicken, Jimmy. Maroon, show Jimmy how it's done. Here he goes. Ah, and I can jump out of that because that is going forever. It's 10 to 9. The Rainbow Friends have taken the lead again. But next is Josh. And Josh is facing the 500k special. They kind of look similar. Two of my favorite creatures. Josh, you're going first. Here he goes. Swinging through the air. Uh, oh, it's not great, Josh. I have a feeling the 500k special will beat Josh. It doesn't look like it, but... This fella glide. He will glide and he'll glide and he'll glide to 11-9. Now it's the last cat and he's facing orange. I think this might be orange's first jump. And the last cat. Oh, uh, interesting shoulder movement. Oh, great. Orange. No matter, it's done. Do you, uh, does anyone remember how well orange jumps? Oh, it's actually not bad. It's actually really good. 12-9. Up next is Long Joseph and he's facing brown. Oh, get him, Joe. He is slow. He's slow, Joe, but he got to go. Oh, good jump. Is, it an, is he making it? Oh, Joe, so close. Brown, <laughs> he runs very frantic, and he, and he swings his head around. I would too if I'd won. That's 13 to 9. Up next is Mini Josh, and he's facing the candlestick. Is Mini Josh better than Big Josh? He flaps a bit more, but no, just behind. All right, candlestick. Show him you don't need legs to jump. He's doing a similar, similar sort of air wiggle. Oh, it's going to be close. 
but he has beaten him. 14 to 9. Miss Luna versus Grape. I guess they look kind of similar. Ants love eating grapes, so teach him a lesson. Oh, Miss Luna is OP. Ah, she does have wings. Good luck. You're going to need it, Grape. Oh, I've forgotten how gross this thing is from behind. It's a decent jump. It ain't enough. It's 14 to 10. There's still a chance for the Ban Bans. There's just enough of them. And next is the Crocodile against the Forgotten Rainbow Friend, who is very OP. But the Crocodile, show him your stuff, dude. Oh, he's very slow. How are Crocodiles supposed to be kind of fast? Not this one, I guess. He does have two mouths. Oh, he's on the bridge. The Crocodile's only hope is that the Forgotten One will crash into him. He did not. He's gone straight to the back of the map. That's 15 to 10. Up next is Nab Nab against Dark Green. Get him, you rotisserie chicken. He's hit the ceiling. He's coming down. Oh, why is there such a big pile here? Dark Green. He runs with a lot of passion, but I don't remember how his jump was. I think it might be just enough. Oh, he bounced off of, I think it was someone in front of Nab Nab. But we're going again just for science. And this time, pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. Is he past Nab Nab? No, I think he bounced off of Nab Nab, which is a point E. 16 to 11. Up next is Nasty Knack against Black. The Knack first. He is a cactus, so he is a little slow. The jumps, actually, I'm surprised he's not in the river. He's bounced off the crocodile. Get to the ram. Go stand next to him. He's too thick. We'll just pretend he's next to him. Have a feeling Black's gonna beat him anyway. He's a lot faster. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that weird... <laughs> Look at that weird hip move. That's 17 to 11. And next is the banana slug against white two. We'll send white two first. Oh, look at that run. That may be my favorite run of all time. Got enough legs. Sailing through the air and ah, pretty average. It's beatable. Come on, banana slug. Oh, listen to him. Oh, look at him go. He's such a beast. Oh, it's going to be close. I can't tell. VAR has the muscular slug one. I think he might have by a mouth. He has. We'll give it to him. It's 17 to 12. There's only three left. Noodle Ninja against Magenta. And off he goes galloping. <laughs> oh, good form for a noodle. All right. Teach him. Teach him a lesson. Don't be fooled by the wheels. This thing can jump. But can it jump far enough? I don't think so. Nice. That's 17 to 13. A peeler bird versus Coral. Oh, no. Coral's a little OP. But this bird's surprisingly quick. Nice flap. Ah, tied with a noodle ninja. Ah, uh, but strap in. If you're not familiar with Coral, his butt's full of helium. So get ready for some gliding. You may be thinking, why is he not falling? That's the butt helium. Do you see it? <laughs> Coral's OP. That's 18 to 13. It's all over for the Gardener Bam Bam, but one final round. Pinky Sweetie against. It's Little Red. A redemption point? <laughs> Maybe not. This thing's so slow. And now for the jump. It's high, but there's absolutely no momentum. It's going in the river. Oh, Little Red's turn. I mean, he's not quick. He may struggle too. Oh, is he gonna make it? Oh, he's just made it with the help of Joseph. So that means the final scores are 13 for the Gardener Bam Bam and 19 for the Rainbow Friend. So if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, smack that like button and subscribe if you're new. It's free and I yellow.